Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So this is the part four of the ser video series under bearing. So if you missed the previous parts uh, of the of this video, kindly check the description of this video. Uh, you'll find the link uh, to other parts of this video. So in this example four, the question says two ships leave spots at the same time and travels at five kilometer per hour on a bearing of forty six degrees. The other the other travel at 9 km per hour on a bearing of 127 degrees. How far apart are the two ships after two hours? So let's solve this. So the first thing we are going to do to any bearing question, like I do say, is to give a drawing that uh, explains or represents uh, what the question is trying to say. So let's do that. It says two ships leave spot at the same time. So the first thing, let's pick a point for... Uh, for the port. So let's take this as our port. So let's start with the question. So you say two ships leave the port at the same time and travels at five kilometer per hour on a bearing of 46 degrees. So let's take this as our you no know, we are talking about bearing so it will start we are starting in clockwise direction from the north. I've explained this in the previous uh, part of this video. So that's if you are not watching it from the beginning. So 46 degrees on the bearing of 46 degrees, so 46 should be around this angle. So you always uh, give an idea or I mean an estimate of the angle. So this is our 46 degrees. So 46 degrees. It says the other travel at. So this is the first one. So the other travels at nine. Okay, this travels at five kilometer per hour. So for the, the other that the other travels at nine kilometer per hour on a bearing of one twenty seven. Now for us to pick that bearing of one twenty seven, we know that this first quadrant, this first quadrant is ninety, and this first quadrant and the second quadrant is one eighty. So that means at uh, one twenty seven, that means ninety. What you are going to add to this other angle is you are just going to add thirty seven. So you are going to thirty seven should be somewhere here. So like I said before, we just uh, you know, pick a likely uh, angle that will represent it. So 37 plus this 90, that means the entire angle here to this point is, let me bring it here. So that is uh, 127 degrees, 127 degrees. I'll tell you I'm writing it out instead of writing it inside. It's 127 degrees. And if you the speed is what is 9 kilometer per hour. Okay, let me just put it straight. Nine kilometer per hour. And I said, so how far are the ships after two hours? So this is where the points for uh, the first ship, and then this is the second ship. So let's bring it together. So now what the question is asked: like, How far apart after two hours? So that means after this uh, first ship flies for two hours, this flies for two hours in different direction. So how far are these ships? Now let's uh, break down this drawing. Now the first one is said travel at uh, 46 uh, at a bearing of 46 uh, degrees. If it travels at an angle of 46, that means what will be having here? If from here this first quadrant is 90 and it, this is 46, that means what you are going to be having here will be uh, 44. 44 degrees now don't forget also what we added to this to make it 127 degree was 30, uh, 37 so that means the angle from this second quadrant this line this line that goes towards the east to this one that is coming down for the second uh, second ship will give us 37 so by the time we had 44 plus 37 and that will give us 81. So that 81 represents this. The total angle here is 81 degrees. Now, if it's not clear, just go back and watch it again. And let me or let me just put it this way. Now, if let me draw it out here. This is uh, the four cardinal points. We have the first ship at a bearing of 46 degrees, 
and then the second ship at an angle of i mean at a bearing of 127 which is something like this so that means this is for the first and this is for the second ship so that means the angle from this point that is coming from the uh, from the north clockwise to this point is 127 degrees now what you are very what you are interested in is calculating the angle between this first and the second the first and the second so that means the angle between the first and the second apart from how i explained it here is also the same thing as having 127 degrees minus 46 and that will also give us 81 degrees so i believe one of uh, either of these two examples will be clear will be clear to you so let me rub it off so with that now we've been able to get the drawing but let's give it some uh, let's label the points so let's call this point a let's call this point b which is which is ship ship one and then let's call this point c which is ship two now since we have this point as a uh, point b so we can also uh, have this point as a small b let's call this uh, the distance between this point and this point as small a that's because we have this angle a opposite it we can have is a uh, capital letter as the angle so opposite you can represent with a small letter i've explained all this also in the uh, in the part one i think so this is uh angle c or point c so we can have this as small c and you get to know as you are solving it you get to know why i'm using that uh, similar alphabet so now that we've been able to get the diagram the question is asking us that how far apart are these two ships after two hours the distance between this ship b and this point i mean ship one and the ship two now if you look at this question closely you see that uh, we are not giving distance at all all the, uh, the two values that we are giving are in kilometer per hour and in kilometer per hour that signifies speed speed that is kilometer per hour or have it in meter per seconds so we are working with kilometer per hour. we are giving speed but what they are asking us to look for is what is the distance between those two this uh, ship one and ship two so but the, the formula is we have a formula that is speed is equals to distance over time distance over time so now the question is in speed and then we are giving time that after two hours so what we are going to do is first we are going to look for uh the speed on this part of point from point b to c between point b and point c we are going to look for the speed you know we are giving the speed here five kilometer per hour nine kilometer per hour so we are going to also look for the speed from of uh, between this point b and point c by the time you get the speed then we'll be able to get the distance that means how far apart that means the distance so with this formula now by the time we cross multiply to make distance the subject of the formula we'll be having our distance will be giving us so we'll be having distance distance is equals to speed times time speed times time so what we are going to calculate now is now we are going to calculate for speed is what you are going to calculate for and then we multiply it by time the time is already given us as two hours so i'm just uh, explaining what we are going to be doing to, for us to arrive at our at our answer so now let me just rub this off so that we can start to uh, apply what i've just explained now so in doing this what you are looking for now is the distance between uh, I mean the speed b and c so to do that we we'll have bc okay i represent it with um with this which is a so the formula that we are going to apply is the cosine rule cosine rule so and so based on this diagram now what we are going to be having is a square is equals to b square plus c square minus 2 b c cos a cos a so we can also have this if you can also have based on um this is point a the distance from here to here is a the distance from this point a to point c is this b is this b the distance from this a point a 
which is the port, and then to ship B is C, is C. So this is it. A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC cos A. So the next thing we are going to do now is to put in our values. So A square, we don't know A square, is equal to B square. So the value of our B is 9. So that will be 9 square plus, and then the value of our C. Our C is 5 km per hour, so that's 5 plus 5 square minus 2BC. So the value of our B, that will be 2 times 9 times, then our C is 5 times cos A. So the value of our A, that's the angle A, is 81 degrees times So times cos 81 degrees. So at this point, we always try to be careful so that you don't make mistake because a lot of people do make mistake um, when they are in this um, this this area. So nine squared. So that will be nine times nine. That will give us eighty one plus so five times five. I mean five squared. That's five times five. That will give us twenty five minus. So here we have two times nine times five. So two, uh, 9 times 5, that will give us 45 times 2, that will give us 90. So minus 90 times cos 81. So let's look for the value of cos 81. Press that in your calculator, you'll be getting. So that will give us 0 0.1564. So let's continue. So our a square is equal to, so 81 plus 25, that will give us 106 minus so 90 times 0 0.1564, so that will give us 14.079. So let me also say this here. So at this point, there's another mistake that is very common, where some can just say 81 plus 25 minus 90. So whatever they get, they'll multiply it by 0 0.1564. It will to give you a, a, a wrong answer, to give you a wrong answer. So it's all, uh, to avoid that, you can always, after this minus, Always put them in brackets. So put it in brackets. Because everything in this bracket are going to multiply each other. You are going to multiply them together. So 2 times 9 times 5 times cos um, 81 degree. You are going to multiply them together. So don't do the mistake of uh, maybe when you get to this point, you have 81 plus 25. Then you say 81 plus 25, which is 106, minus 90. At that point, you'll be getting... Um, so 90 minus 106, you'll be getting 16, 16 then times 0 0.1564. You can see that uh, that is wrong. But just follow board, uh, board mass and then you'll be good. So now let's continue from this point. So we are here. So how we arrive there again is 81 plus 25 minus, so 90 times 0 0.1564. That will give us 14.079. So let's continue. So our a square, a square is 106 minus 14.079. So let's look for that will give us 91.921. Our a square will give us 91.821. Now for us to uh, get rid of this square, what you are going to do is you are going to find the square root of both sides. So that we can get rid of this square on the a. So that will be Square root of a square is equal to square root of 91.921. So, you know, we can easily cancel out the square root to still give us nine, a square is equal to 91.921. But we, we are more interested in getting rid of the, uh, the square on the a. So, this square root can cancel this square. We'll be left with a is equal to square root of 91.921. So when we look for the square root of 91.921, that will give us 9.588. So that means our A is equal to 9.588. Okay, so that's 9.588, then our unit kilometer per hour. Because that's what we are working with, we are, you know, the, that's the unit for the B and the C, kilometer per hour. So now we've gotten our A. No, this is not our final answer. We've gotten our A, which is the speed between points B and C. That is ship 1 and ship 2. We've gotten it to be... To be um, 
So we've gotten it to be 9.588 kilometer per hour. So now, like I explained earlier, what we are now going to do is we are going to apply the formula um, speed is equal to distance over time. So I want to rub this over in case you want to write this down. Kindly pause the video so that you can write it down while I rub it off. So our A again, so is 9.588 kilometer per hour. So now for us to get um, how far apart are the two ships after two hours, that's the uh, how far apart the distance from year to year. So let's bring out, our, bring out the formula. We have speed is equals to distance over time. So with that, the distance is equals to, so by time we cross multiply, we have it as speed times time. So now let's put in our value. Our speed, which is A, is equals to 9.588 times time. We are told that after 2 hours, which is 2. So 9.588 times 2. So that will give us 19.175 kilometer, and this is the answer to the uh, example four kilometer. Don't forget the units now will be in kilometer because what we are now looking for is distance. Now, let me also show you this. Our speed, no, our distance now is speed times time. But let's now use only the units. So just to let us know that the units will be in kilometer, not kilometer per hour, because we are talking about distance. So this, um, the unit of speed is kilometer per hour, kilometer per hour, so this is kilometer per hour. So we multiply it by time, With, and the time is also in hours, so that will be HR, representing R. So you can see they can they will cancel each other, so we'll be left with kilometer, so that is what's happened here. So we are left with kilometer. So the distance is 19.175 kilometer. So that is it for this example. Uh, again, if you have any question concerning this example, kindly leave them in the comment section below. If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, if you like enjoyed this example, please give this video a thumbs up, kindly share it, and I'll see you in another example. We, are, we also have um, example 5. So I'll see you there. Bye for now.